Welcome back to another reading and correcting of Stepping Up by me, Kendor, <clears throat> the Tiger Rights, as well as Ty, the Tiger Supervisor. Today we are doing Chapter 57. Or that's my cursor. As the Karaya returned with a crystal container and crystal goblets, placing them on a little table while Paolo's to the Tibbs. They filled the goblet with red wine and handed them over. They smiled as they looked at the... At the. Ah, hmm. They smile as they looked at them. Yeah, that's... Um, I guess that, that's a complication with going with neutral pronouns. Ah, smile. He smiles. They looked at them, at the group. In appreciation, and they thought they were seeing them as a painting to be admired. Paolo glanced. Yeah, this may be stretching. I just yeah. Paolo glanced at them, and his expression turned pained. I'm afraid we're going to need privacy too. Smile, Zakaria. I'll make sure to, we spend we all spend time together, but for now, you can't stay. This is going to be order business. Of course. They kiss the top of Fiona's head. I'll be working in my studio. I look forward to hearing stories of your adventures in the dungeon, they told Tim and Karina before heading out of the house. Karina, the cleric said, shifting his focus to the two of them. There are rules. You were the one who told me that obeying rules without questions led to chaos. That was when you were a child and didn't question anything you were told. She smiled. You never said anything about no longer questioning them once I grew up older. I know you were beyond my advice on the day you stole your first book. He ran her fingers along his goblet. I doubt I'm the reason you kept on questioning everything, but saw how little success everyone else had demanding you obey blindly. You how little success everyone else demanding you'll be blindly had. Uh, little success everyone had, everyone else had, in demanding you'll be blindly. Smiled at her fondly. I prefer that we remain friends. Piotr looked at Tibbs. This isn't me agreeing to help, but tell me why you want purity when there are so many other elements who would suit you better, because I have to. And Tibbs realized that Jekyll's world of words about lying without uh, without actually lying were something he'd heard before. Never lie, Paul Grangston had said, his voice shaking from old age, pain, and probably tainted ale. Especially when you lie to a mark. The old man wasn't talking to Tibbs. He hadn't known Tibbs was present. If you had, his three apprentices would beat Tibbs up instead of listening to a lesson. Tibbs had sneaked to the back of the shack the old man claimed as his own and listened through a broken plank. He had watched Granston twist the nobles around his tongue and Tibbs wanted to learn from him, no matter how many times the old man told him no. The truth is the best lie to tell. You twist it, you bend it, you mold it until it suits your need, but never, ever break it. Tibbs had never gotten good at it, and with each attempt ending in a beating, he'd given up on using his tongue to steal. His hands were better at it. But now, his tongue was all he had. That is a rather bold claim to make. The old stone didn't hold accusation, but there was an expectation of needing more in it. And Tibbs wasn't stealing with it this time. Not really. The elements were there for any who could get an audience, after all. Maybe I don't have to admit it. But I've watched the others with their elements. I've watched what they do, how they talk about it. And I can't the conclusion that purity is what I want. Conclusion? Pillow said, sounding amused. Karina taught me the words. The word. It means that, what I, that I think over what I want, what's available, and what I can do, then something. And Karina explained about purity. 
Now there was a hint of disbelief in his voice. No, well, a little. I spoke mostly with the clerics who came to Craggle Rock when the dungeon graduated. There was an accident that created a pool of corruption, and one of them tried to remove it by itself. When I asked why, she tried when it had to seem impossible. She said that it wasn't the success that was important. It was that she did the work as best as she could. Tips paused and thought back over his life. He didn't have to pick and choose the events. Nearly all of them fit what he was saying. I've had to work hard all my life to stay alive. On my street, now in the dungeon. The guild didn't make it easier on me because of my eyes. He hesitated. He realized what he said and... And added... Added the best thing he could think of to explain it. Even if I have. And if I have no element when everyone else does. It's been tough. If you think you've screwed up, Granston said harshly, don't act like it. The mark doesn't know what you plan to say or what's supposed to be the right thing you have to say. You'll be telling them you screwed up or not by how you behave. How many times have you gone into the dungeon? I asked. Did shrug. A lot. Kirina looked at the cleric looked at Kirina. It's hard to say, she answered. At first they just grabbed us off the street and if our role was needed to fill a team. We didn't get to tell them we were tired or that 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 we'd already gone on that day. We went in with strangers and did what we could to survive. When the dungeon graduated, we built our teams and there was a schedule. But uh, there was a schedule, more for the nobles than us, I think. I think that since then, we've gone in more than a dozen times. Less than 20, I'm sure. Uh, what is your role, Tibbs? I'm a rogue. He straightened and puffed out his chest. Sorry, there we go. Ah, Pielo smiled slightly and didn't seem surprised. Those aren't known to have the best survival rate. There is a lot of distrust in them being thieves who are simply granted more official sending titles. A more official sending title. I was a thief. That's how I ended up in the cell that sent me to, that had me sent to Craggle Rock. I picked the wrong pocket, but I'm a runner now. And a rogue. I want to continue because it's what's right for me. When I reach Epsilon, I'm going to become an adventurer and work the guild. Work for the guild. You sound very confident about your chances. Never think of your real reason for what you're doing. They don't matter and they'll show on your face. Not one of you is good enough to make your face see something you aren't thinking. What's my other choice? Think about how I'm going to die and not reach it? I can't go back to my street once I'm free of everything I've lived through. No, once I'm free after everything I've lived through, I'm going to make it. I have to. He looked at his hand and lowered at his hands and lowered his voice. Oh, Mama, does your mother know what has what happened to you? He also asked. He shook his head. She died in the cold. She wouldn't want that to happen to me. The dungeon's hard. But I'm no longer on my street. I have to survive for her. My team's not going to be enough now. Not with him go being a row. I need an element. I'm going to continue even if I can't get one. I don't care how hard I have to work. Shrug. Maybe I'll be the first adventurer not to have an element. But my chances are better if I have one. And you would rather not have an element if you can't have purity? There was a forced neutrality that don't let me Tibbs consider his response. I don't want to die. He finally said with a sigh. So I'll take what I can get. But none of the others sound right to me. Fire is all about heat and energy. Air is about playing around. Earth is grumpy. Water is about waiting around. Darkness about being mis darkness is about myst being mysterious. Wouldn't darkness be a good fit for you? Rogues and mystery do go well together. It's what I'll take if I can't get purity, he said. But the one darkness rogues I've known was alone because he could tell how devious everyone is. 
I know people who aren't atheists, but I don't want to be alone. I want to believe I saw. So, yeah, I want to believe some can be my friends, my family. He wiped out his eyes. He had an intended to let Barnett's memory get to him. Phone call. I know there are no purity rogues, and I know Tibbs won't reveal it to anyone. It's his one chance to continue advancing with us. I don't think he can survive what's coming without an element. He said he'd take darkness. Rapiolo replied. Do you think he'll survive an audience if his heart isn't in it? She countered. There are no guarantees he'll survive an audience with purity either. He looked at Tibbs. You understand that there are no guarantees either way. Tip snorted. I've held up my whole life. Anytime I get a little, someone bigger and tougher showed up to take it. But I didn't let that stop me. If I'm going to die because an element refuse, refuses me, I'd rather it be the one I want it to be, the one I want to be with, rather than my second choice. I can't even promise you'll make it to have your audience, the yellow said. Tibbs looked up in surprise. The clerk smiled. Do you think we have it any easier because we have a dungeon dedicated to our element? It's still a dungeon, and it still wants us dead. All we did was find ways to incorporate that aspect into our, the ritual that leads to the audience and ensure only those who worked really hard make it that way. It's okay, Tibbs said, trying to sound like he was forcing himself to stay positive. I'd rather have a chance at the, at the audience than settle for another element. Paolo nodded. All right, I'll help. Never, ever, ever react to your victory. Tell me nothing if that noble has a guard. Cut your throat while you're grinning at him. Tips covered the bracelet as Paolo nodded to it, happy for the distraction from his elation. How long until you need to get back to go back? He focused on it as a reminder of his servitude, not how pleased he felt. There's no way to know, Terry now answered, while Tibbs still brought himself under control. A few, week, at a few weeks, at least, is, is what we were told. That might not be long enough, the clerk said. Unlike with the other elements, there is no speeding through the process to have your audience. Getting to purity takes as long as it needs to. I can't simply go with you and lead you to purity's embrace. Like everything else, you will have to work for it. For you will have to work for it to happen. What will you do if the gym turns while you are still working towards your audience? The shrug came easy. I'll accept what comes. It's how we li it's how we'd lived. He tried as hard as he could, then events unfolded as they would. If it's my death, then I've got there aiming for what I wanted. Paolo, Paolo's lips tightened in a line. I'd rather you live unhappy than die fulfilled. Tip smiled at him. I'd rather live happy and fulfilled. The clerk chuckled. I hope I was never this refreshingly naive. Otherwise, what a grump have I turned into my old age. You're not old, Karina said. Paolo rolled his eyes. I am three times your father's age. Remind me again what you said when you found out how old he is? She straightened. I will not. We have company. Tibbs looked at her, wondering what she could have said she didn't want him to hear. You know that if you you know that as you get more powerful with your element, Bill said, your body will change, correct? Tibbs nodded. I got I I got from the adventurers in Craggleroy that some are a lot older than they look. So some call what we do a crawl or a dive. It's what they used to talk to call doing a run when they did it. The clerk nodded. The more powerful you are, the higher in rank, as your guilt counts it, <clears throat> the slower you age. I don't know how adventurers handle it, but here, most have families, since we are all dedicated to purity. He looked at Terry and smiled. It makes for, it's make it, it, blah. it makes it possible that we don't have to fear outgrowing the children we have grown fond of. Do you have many? Tibbs asked as Terry now. As Karina looked at her feet, her dark skin turning darker in embarrassment, Paolo shook his head. My love is purity. I don't have any left to dedicate to a family. Then Zakaria is... Uh, to up. He only had other runners as a reference, and while not all of them had special someones,
uh, any who had someone looked a lot like Jacqueline Croce or, we swallowed, Pian and Jeff. What Zakaria and I have, and I have is comfortable. I like and enjoy their company and they enjoy spending time with me. But eventually, they'll grow bored with me not giving them what they want. I explained to them when, we, when they courted me, but they think their love is enough to change me. They'll realize it isn't, and there will be pain and anger. They might lash out at me. Then, they'll go to someone who can give them the kind of happiness that they, they want. Till then, we enjoy each other's company. You make it sound easy, to said softly. Them leaving you. <clears throat> it is now. The old girl thoughtful. The first few were hard. I didn't become a cleric knowing where my devotion would take me. Like Kirina's parents, I too married. And this, I may change the word. I sort of made a decision that I was not going to use married as a term in this world. And here it slept through both traps. But I really don't know what else to use at this time. Uh, <clears throat> he smiled. She was a lovely woman, a fighter. The smile fell. My duty is superiority got in the way. Fortunately, we didn't have children. Then there was a man. Outside of the order, because I thought his shorter life would make it easier for him not to be as involved with me. Instead, it made him ask... It made him ask for him? For more. And not being of the order, I could make him understand what purity means. We argued and fought. There were still a few more until I understood how much I could give and learned to accept the consequences. Wouldn't it be better not to be with anyone then? Tibbs, Trina exclaimed. The old chuckle, possibly. But purity doesn't warm a bed, hug me when I've had a hard day. Devotion and hard work don't mean you don't have a right to, a comfort, to comfort once the day is over. He just looked at the floor, seeing the similarity between the cleric and jackal. I'm a runner. I don't want to die, but I will. I can't put someone through that kind of pain. Then take the pleasure where you can. There are plenty of men and women willing to offer it without attachment. He drained his goblet. But now that I have talked about myself far more than I'm accustomed to, there is one last. There is a last warning I must give you. I can get you into the dungeon within, within, yeah, within the next group of acolytes. Yeah, nope. So plenty. With the ne next group of supplicants in three days, but there is nothing I can do to help you leave. Should you survive your audience, once an acolyte exists, exits the dungeon, they are carted to start their training. Tibbs nodded. I'll find a way. What do I have to do to get start to get ready? Paolo looked Tibbs over again. Get your hair shorn. On the morning, I'll take you in. On the mor <coughs> get your hair shorn. On the morning, I'll take you in. You'll need to take a proper bath. I'll have supplicants robes. Supplicants robes ready for you. Tibbs frowned. Don't I need to starve myself? Paolo laughed. The dungeon will see to, the, to that part itself. He glanced at Kirina. In fact, you should go with Kirina when she visits her family and enjoy their cooking. What? <clears throat> she was on her feet, glaring at the clerk. I am not going there. There's nothing you can say that'll make me want to ever see them again after the way they treated me. Paolo smiled. It's the price of my help to get Tibbs into the dungeon. And this concludes chapter 57 of Stepping Up. If you are enjoying this, please hit the like button. If you want to know when the next one is going to be, subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to read the story, you can do so for free on Royal Road. If you want to support me and read further ahead, uh, that is on Patreon. And should you want to watch me do these lives, it is every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And with that, I shall wish... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Links are in the notes. Now, I shall wish you a good day.